Hello, hello, hello. I think, are we live? Are we live? Hello? Hello? All right. I think we're live, guys. Uh, this is a try hard rip. I'm back on, um, well, let's just say I found a little something special for everybody doing. Joy, we're going to be playing Fallout. I haven't played this in so many years. Look at my rank. Oh, well, level, rank, whatever you call it, really. I think it's a leveling system, but the system might be a little broken. Because I found a little exploit in the um, the way they have this set up. Remember, I don't serve scents. Supplies are just for humans. If you go over here, and you go over to her, don't buy anything. Instead, just buy plastic and rubber. These are the only two things you need, plastic and rubber. Then, I've already halfway unlocked the map. You can see I've gotten all this stuff. I haven't completed all the missions yet, but I will eventually. Okay, so, you see the blimp here. Don't go here yet. Don't even complete any of the missions. Well, complete half the missions. But don't complete them all the way where you destroy the facility of, of the Institute. Or, or the Brotherhood of Steel. Keep those alive. You'll need them. They are a great resource of making steel. You want that. You want steel. You want to have as much as possible to rank yourself up. Instead of doing the copy glitch, do what I'm doing. Okay, so I've already unlocked everything. Almost half of the, the sanctuaries. That's what I call them. But, okay, here's my castle. It has 19 people. Go here. Sorry about the little screen. I know they're supposed to be instant, but they're not right now. And only if they upgraded it. But they won't. Sorry, guys. Drinking some water. <coughs> All right. Now, go over here. Yeah, I, I can press this, right? Now, go here. Empty out everything you have. Don't let... Don't hold any of these... Any weapons right now. Only hold this one. It's great against everything. No matter what... How big the monster is. Oh, don't look at my caps, because that gets broken. I get broke there. Remember... How I told you guys not to, like, do anything. See how this is? I built this armor set because it... But, if you notice, I'm in an armor set. This is the armor set you want to have. This is the quantum set. You want the quantum set because it is very powerful. Don't use any other set because it has the most health on it. And then make sure you have a lot of these. Okay, so when you're crafting, it levels you up, right? Well, instead of making all this crap, or this, or grenades, or any of this shit. Make sure you have the nuke, 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 call up nuke thing. This does a lot more damage than usual. There's like 300 instead of the, or I think it's like 600 or more damage. Then go to, not syringes, traps. Go all the way down to here. Look at my steel. Yes. Instead of doing that, just buy a bunch of these and start selling them 
and keep buying steel. Just keep buying it over and over again. And you will literally level up to level 263, I think it is, is the max. And you have all the perks you want. Or any perks you want, really. But for me, I am upgrading. Here we go. Perks that need to be upgraded. Your fist is a great one to have. You want this because it will help you get caps. You want anything that will help you get caps. And anything that will give you extra health is another one. You want the lock picking. You want all the stuff for the gun nut, the hacker. You want um, strong back. You want Aqua Girl. You want a local leader because that will help you win your settlements. You want scientists and you definitely want robotics expert. This right here will be the best way to make money. If you ever need money, do this because for every time you sell one, you get a low amount of caps. Yes, but you can just keep doing the mission over and over again, and you can just collect all the pieces. Then just upgrade them for a higher price. Same with the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Max it out completely, and you can take off the this like the uh, paint job, and just keep and sell them. Sell them like. Your life depends on it, because it does. You need a lot of caps to upgrade all of your stuff. You want everything to be that of a uh, great institute for yourself. You don't want this. You do want the, this, because it's great for keeping monsters in bay. And same with this one. You can give specific commands to people as well. It'll make it so it's easier for your people to understand you. Sniper, if you guys love sniping, this is what I, I'm about to get here in a little bit. And the other one is Demolition Expert. Because you, it would be great ideas to keep these near your facilities. Don't put them in your facility, but put them around it. Because if you do, it'll make it easier so your your enemies won't sneak up on you. Let's see, to say the least. Um, the other one I was upgrading was where is it? I was the well, rifleman and big leagues. It's two that I'm upgrading right now. I still need two more for this one. This is Radio Freedom. And I am doing Commando because Commando means no armor, no nothing. But your hip fire rate has increased, a, is improved by a lot. But if you really want to go guns a blazing, go with Gunslinger. It is very fun to watch your character become a gunslinger and just go haywire with guns. I'm also doing pickpocketing because some of the characters you can't get certain items off of, but you can pickpocket them. And you also want the sneak ability. Sneak, it's harder for them to find you if you sneak around more often. An animal friend. You need this. It will keep your enemies closer to you. And you can give them specific commands. My action points. I need to do this one because action points I use a lot. Let's see. I don't. See, my action points are all the way up. Uh, my crit's almost all the way to the max. That's because I don't use them that often. See? 
I do run faster. The other thing you want to do is come over here. Here's the most broken part of Fallout. I mean, this is just barely even plausible to do. But, go to power. Make as many of these as possible as you can buy. If you just keep buying these, wait two days, buy another two. Just keep buying them. And then find Nuka-Cola. Get as much of this as possible as well. And mix this all the time you need it. It is necessary to do this. To make sure you are prepared for everything. Another one that's really good is the radiation. Because you'll need it to make sure that you have no radiation. And it's a great way to, so you can save a couple bucks as well. Yes, I have a cow somehow. I got a radiated cow with two heads. I'm not going to kill it. I kind of like it to have it around my base. It might have got stuck. See how it, 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 it stuck me in here? Now you gotta go all the way around Radio just freedom. to get to Broadcasting it. all day, all across the Commonwealth. Ah, Nothing to report. Hurts. Stay safe, people. Everything hurts. This girl almost looks like Cricket. It might have been his, her brother. <laughs> if you look at it, right. Quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay okay, so. Oh, and the other thing is, when you're out here get this you want this because now I have Codsworth and I can I can literally modify Codsworth any way I feel fit look at this I can give him there's no body at all. He's just a floating ball of nothingness. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of broken after a while. This is Mr. Handy. Then you've got, got certain perks for it. I have robotics expert because I wanted to be able to, like, get them all situated. But see, every time I keep adding stuff to Hogsworth, he's getting stronger. Look at his defense. The high, top Hydrox frame. Look what it did to his defense and his Defense against certain energy resistance. It gave him a great deal of help. So I recommend doing that. Same with this. Look at this. Look at his. Look at him now. Full Hydrox frame. Look, if we go down, look, here's, it does, he has a 500 and, a 153 defense, right? Well, keep looking, it keeps going up. Go all the way down to Nuka-Cola armor. It doesn't really matter which one you do. I recommend this one because it gives him a better carry rate. Because you want him to carry more. But see, this doesn't make him carry much. See how it says 
173, you want that. And you want the hydraulic frame. Uh, this one, you want the same thing. Same thing for his right eye. But look, if I just keep going down, each one gives me a different thing. This will heal me while I'm doing that. That's what you want. That looks ridiculous, doesn't it, guys? But keep the Mr. Handy body for him. You can give him this. But look at the carry weight now. It went from nothing at all to like he can now carry almost anything you fucking have on you. His weight capacity is now that of just a monster. The space one is more of the wheels that are going to be round. You don't want round wheels because they're not going to be good. You want these type of wheels. And look, it's, there's nothing on him right now. You want him to have a good defense. So give him this frame. His arms. You want him to have as much carry weight as possible. Give him this. It will make him have electric damage. See, I'm out of these. Watch this, guys. We'll let him sit there for a minute. Now, see how it, we're out of items, right? Well, come here for a couple minutes. Here, one second, guys. I'm gonna. I gotta get my other game up. I'm playing a game on my phone as well, so if you guys don't hear from me, it's because I'm working on other projects. I'm playing this game on my phone, trying to figure this other stuff out. I've gotten to the point where I've just made myself really overpowered, but I'm also... I, I've already maxed this thing out. It does 135. So don't, don't do anything to this. Just keep it the way I have it. See, Collinsworth, what a, and a great tomorrow. help, but this guy's better. And what you want to do, you can buy this, buy all the metal you can. Then just drop it on the ground and recycle it, or scrap it. And then you can get a lot of more steel. Let's see what you got. Okay, so we need this. Um, this and duct tape is great. All right. I want the fiberglass. Anything that has screws or fiberglass, keep those. Oil 
always another thing to keep on on you. I need this. I know it's taking a lot from me, but it's fine. Just stick with it. So, if you look, here's another one with fiberglass. You want the fiberglass, you want the screws, because screws are very, very important. And you want this. Now, I know that took a lot off of me, but now, remember, my armor stands over here, right? You want to see a little fucking broken thing? Watch this. Let's go back over here. You don't even have to wait two days to fucking do what I'm doing. Sorry, you're hearing me shake up my drink. I put a mixture in it to make it so the water's now flavored. I'm sure you guys can hear it, but it's fizzing. All right. Remember, I told you keep collecting things from. Oh, hey. From the Minuteman, right? Wow, look at this. I've been upgrading all the Minuteman shit. And I have a lot of Mark II. Um, let's just say they're the better versions. Of armor stands. I've also been collecting the robotics parts, robot parts as well. Depending on what you want as robotic parts. But look at this. Each one sells for a hundred bucks. can now sell all this. Anything that doesn't have a star next to it, keep the star stuff because you can sell those for later profits. But this stuff, this stuff is the most profitable things in all of the game. if you go here and you just repair stuff see everything here has already been repaired I still need more uh, plastic, right? See how my plastic ran out? This is my Tesla armor. You don't want to keep your Tesla armor not repaired. So, I don't have a head on this thing, because I don't have the right head for him. 
But see, you can change everything you want. Like, I could take all this off. If need be. You don't even have to have all the T20 and all that shit. Cause it, what I would recommend keeping, see how it goes from 45 all the way to 60. The 60 stuff you really want to keep because it's, it's a great way to like um, keep armored. Oh, and the X01, X1 armor you need to keep so keep those those are important anything that's t60 keep anything that's not t60 I recommend getting rid of. See, all my stuff here is T60s. Radio freedom. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. I always keep the T60 shit because it, it is a great... Wait, I even keep the Raider stuff because I like the Raider armor. It really goes with some of the other armors. So yeah, I recommend keeping some of this stuff. I already have so many X1 armors because I kept stealing them from other parts of the maps. So what you want to do now is see that you can teleport. Teleport here. I know this is going to be a long video, but I just want to explain some stuff to you guys. This might be a little bit crazy. After this, we will be making another video today or tomorrow on the ways of getting what you need. sell just about everything, but none of it is scrap. Let's see what you have. Odds and ends. So what you want to do is you don't want to just give her random stuff. You want to take her junk off her, correct? So it's You can just keep doing this. You want the fertilizer, plastic, and rubber. The springs you want. You won't need all of these. I recommend like maybe around 50 of them. Oh crap. I just gave away something I don't want. The new color stuff, I do not want to sell. I want to keep my new color stuff.
but I do want to keep all my stuff. Now, now that you've gotten rid of everything that you do not need, come back here. This is the most important part. Do not regret doing this. You can do the Nuka Cola full set thing and take over all the salaries you want and give yourself more money, yes. Or you can do what I'm doing, which is setting up all your robots. Like, for instance, Cogsworth now, now that his legs are a little bit stronger than what you you imagine. No. From 281 to 85. Look at his carry rate now. It's 400. But you also want to have him His mid frame. Gonna do this one. And paint. Now we're gonna paint him. I don't know what color I like on him, but Cogsworth was always kind of like a grayish color, like a, this. He looks good and gray, but. I want to put him in something more that looks like he was maybe a, a red. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. We're not going to do red. We're going to do white because white looks right. He looks now looks like a facility bot. Now, look at his arms. We can now give him... No, he has no arms, right? Watch his arm. His arm carry length is now 120. 70, 30, and 80. 80 is what you're aiming for. You want him to have enough to carry all your shit. So, 80 and 80, that's going to give you like 500 and something weight capacity. You want that. But you don't really, he doesn't really need. You can do Tesla coils. Which would give him more ability to give off damage, but you want this. Heal nearby human allies occurring in battle. During battles, you will get the ability to regen health. Increases damage, radiation, resistance to, I think that's, uh, of nearby and then allies, meaning that you won't take damage from your friends. Oh, that one might be more useful. But for right now, we're going to do the regen. We will come back. Come with me, Cogsworth. 
he is British, yes, but now he has a bigger hitbox, yes, but he can do a lot more. Oh, there goes my... I'm going to send him to my castle for right now. He's going to stay here, but Hogsworth is going to come with me. If you look at the back of him, he has a little hook on the back of his leg. Yes, that's for, uh, for pulling things. But the dude has enough power on him to really do some damage. And the other thing is, one more thing, guys. This is very important. See Nuka Cola World? Get this mod. You want this. Come over here to Nuka Cola World. There's my my robot mod. I love making robots. This is the most fun I've ever had making robots. I literally can make an army of these son of a guns and I would just have them at all my sanctuaries. I mean, it really helps, especially when you have a way of, like, using them in the correct way. And it is necessary to have them. There is no doubt about that. Okay, so. See this guy here? This is our man. Answer some questions for me. Shoot. Any word on what the outposts might need? Sounds like places to sleep are in pretty high demand. Seen some awful things happen if people can't get their shut eye. Pip Boy should be able to tell you which one. Was there anything else? That was it. Got it. Something else I could do for you? Now. I want to run a job. Interested in running a job. Works for me. What type of job did you want to run? Now, four settlements to supply us. Do Not that. Bodies. We're gonna beat a settlement into supplying us. Sure. And which gang you want to join you on the job? Now, if you really are a crazy psychopath, use the pack. They are. Very, very efficient. The pack. Mm -hmm. So, what's the target? Now, they can't target big businesses like stuff, but they're this. That's my film. We don't want that. Hmm. I think that one's your territory, boss. You're sure that's the one you want to hit? That Keep the current location. Key. Of course, boss. Which brings us to the plan. Beat the fight out of the local citizenry. Kill anyone dumb enough to try to defend them. I'll make sure there's a crew waiting when you get there. And that they know they're only allowed to kill the hired help. Don't have too much fun. Now. Go back. These are great ideas because you need these to create your own facilities and ways of making money. So, go back to the Commonwealth. I recommend get fast traveling there because they won't even know what hit them when you get there. Now, where we're going is way over here. See how this is? The one I'm taking over right now is... Where is it?
I think it's here that I set it up, right? This is only if you want to kill them. I don't recommend this, but they're... Someone else has turned to babysit the dirt scratches. <laughs> and look at that, you got yourself another century added to your collection. I would recommend doing this to all of them. But see, now I'm not allied with this settlement. You can fix that in certain ways. I didn't have to work for my meals. How about you buzz off? Work damn hard to keep this place afloat. Then you won't sin. <laughs> See, this was funny. You can walk in and just steal their territory. Hi. You wanna buy or sell something? That'd be great. This is a great way of making yourself like what you want. And what's really great about this is that they will give you what you need. Now I have another spell. <laughs> See, I can now hack. I can hack little robot. And this is why these things are great to hack. These guys don't have anything really on them, but they are your comrades, so don't steal from them. But, I recommend taking as much food as you can from them. But if you harvest what they give you and go sell it, you're going to keep making a good profit. Alright, so, now, here's the kicker. You have to do that to all the centuries. Meaning, all of them have to have a group next to you. You want to go to all your sanctuaries. And you want to place them everywhere. I'm placing them all right here for right now because I need some more settlements over there because we are going to really start collecting settlers everywhere So 
know now everybody's been moved to certain locations. You want to have everybody. Okay, so I moved half my people to certain locations because we're going to be making more room. See, now there's not that many here. And there's only 24 defense because of the way I have it set up. But you want to have less defense, so I recommend getting rid of all those robots. But you don't really need the turrets, they don't really do anything. They may protect your settlement, but if you have a lot of, of people in your settlements, you will be protected, like, for real. I don't know where my uh, dude is that I was supposed to talk to. I don't know where he disappeared to. Oh, looks like he's over here somewhere. Uh, where did he go? Sorry guys, I have to talk to this one character and he just... I just can't find him now, which is weird. I had him somewhere. I don't think I moved him. But yeah, all my power armor is going to be moved out of this sanctuary. Because I don't like it in the sanctuary. Because it's kind of useless. I took care of those super mutants. The settlers were relieved to not have them to worry about anymore. Thank God. Super mutants. Civilians just don't stand a chance against them. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. And just keep doing these as well. Some place green skin. Okay, so now I'm going to have seven players over here. You want to have people in certain settlements to be able to use the settlement. Oh, and that, I'm radioactive now. I don't know how to um, do certain things with the settlements. Look, if I'm in here, I take no damage. I don't know if it's like this is like a safe room or something. I could never figure that out, guys. So, what? Are but we will be setting this up as another way of defending my people. And we're going to have it all set up, but in a little bit. I have each one. Each vault and each place is going to have a different amount of players. It's like, my castle, it may be set to a certain way. But I'm just keeping it all real. And, and I have been upgrading my been upgrading myself. If you go back over here, look at my carry rate, one hundred and thirty ten. 
Well, if you drink a lot of those new colors, you can pretty much give yourself more. But I've been using it to make sure my health does not go down. So I've been doing the Nuka Cola cooler. Because I'm cooler than all these people. So yeah, I've also set this up so I can have a little bit of food here. I think I might need to make some more beds here in a little bit. Let's put some beds down inside. I want to get some good beds. Though. We can't go in here because this isn't technically my area yet. But you can keep all your people happy. That's all that's really necessary is to keep the people happy. Them beds up here, but I wouldn't do that. Nineteen. Now we have nineteen beds here. I think this place can only hold up to 19 people. But now that we have those 19 people, I do need to set up my shop up here so I can get my more of my Commonwealth stuff. But just keep doing what I'm doing and you guys will be happy. All right. I think that's it for my video because uh, I'll be seeing you later because it's almost been an hour.